beautiful Essex morning this morning and uh, I'm just out for about a four mile jog I think when I say jog I do mean jog rather than run it's, uh, I've still been testing out the knee it's getting a lot better I managed to do a couple of three mile runs across the local fields so uh, I thought I'd try it out this morning on some footpaths so I've parked at the car park at Heath Road back there and uh, I'm just going to make my way down to the river have a little run and then circle back through Cook's Mill that bit was overgrown but nowhere near as bad as I feared I did uh, slowly walk through a couple of sections there so this bit's uh, oh a little well dear see that <laughs> this bit's a little bit overgrown <laughs> it's uh, okay to walk through and you don't fall off the edge there okay out here go right and then a bit covered up here but immediate left but right, then a little jog along here so that we can eventually drop down to the river cone. Right, now we get our first view into the cone valley. I'm just going to jog down here very slowly. Uh, certainly lovely to be out and be able to do this again uh, oh, look at the views right so we're heading for this footbridge across the river Colm Right, so here's the River Colne and uh, it does get pretty reeded up at this time of year. From here, looking back the way we've come, I can see a farmer there on his quad bike whizzing around. Right, so through here and we're going to turn right, turn across this footbridge. Well, I'll jog slowly down this bit well I can see the footpath uh, this is okay today but uh, sometimes after lots of rain it does get a bit swampy This is the edge of the Fulham Hall estate. Not a bad footpath this, so I'll try to jog along here for a while. Well, this morning I'm just doing a, a very short section as I said three or four mile jog uh, I don't want to stress the knee too much and 
but there are so many lovely walks that, uh, and runs of course that you can do from this point really so uh, up there is the Fordham Hall Estate straight ahead uh, leads you out to Westburg Alt eventually uh, so again this is part of the Essex Way and it is quite a nice part Now ahead here is a short little hill section I usually run up this and monitor how uh, much slower I'm actually getting but uh, this morning because I don't want to stress the knee too much I'm going to cut off up here and do a right in a moment If you come this way, watch the huge step down, especially if you're stepping into brightness from darkness there. Okay, you can see the footpath here. And uh, this footpath, although we can't see it at the moment, this footpath is running parallel to the River Colne. Okay, the footpath here is not too bad obviously fairly well used I think lots of dog walkers use it oh the honeysuckle smell after a pretty ropey start looks like the barley crops not doing too badly but we're coming to a footpath junction because I want to keep the distance short this morning and we're going to go back through here and uh, this is Cook's Mill lovely old house I think they just love having a footpath through their gardens So here's a better view of the River Colne. Generally it's a pretty peaceful river. Little pillbox, aptly named Poo Corner by some joker. So this road ahead uh, that's become very steep uh, I shall jog up it very slowly <laughs> of course and uh, it takes us out onto Heath Road at this point I'd advise you not to go up to the top uh, though you can do and turn right back to the car park but uh, better really to run through this little bit of woodland which is very nice yeah a few nice seats there if you're tired out after your walk or run ah, just a little jog up here and you'll see in a moment the footpath that we started out on all right there's the footpath that we started out on and now back up to the Heathrow car park right on the Garmin I've got 3.27 miles well I, I hope you enjoyed coming along with me and uh, if you did then please think about uh, pushing the subscribe button if you haven't already done so uh, it just makes me feel good nothing else doesn't cost you anything Okay then, so until I see you again, look after yourself, take care, all the best and uh, bye for now.